Hey, hello. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I am here to show us how to uh, pick dry beans or sort dry beans because I notice a lot. Well, anyway, if I, I've gotten requests or received requests, uh, some requests regarding dry beans, I have several on my domestic YouTube channel. Uh, a couple of them. I'll try to see if I can put the playlist in. Uh, this video uh, but I'm going to show us what I normally do now I am more or less uh, a frozen bean girl <laughs> uh, I mix a few of the frozen beans together the purple uh, not really the well I think I do the, actually it's not the purple hull it's the Crowder piece that I really really love but they hardly ever have them so I get the purple hull or the black eyed pea uh, baby lima bean, um, butter speckled, and it's like it's one or two more. I can't think of it right now, but because they've been out so long, like if I go, I have to go so far to get them, or they don't, eat, or they don't have them, or they have them and it's so expensive, it's ridiculous. But I normally get the pick sweet uh, farms. I do like pick sweet, and then there is another. I think it's another brand that I get sometimes, uh, but sometimes they're so hard to like I said so hard to find frozen uh, in the varieties that I like so that is how I resorted more or less to picking up dry beans but even though the dry bean is still not the bean that I prefer but it's a pinto bean which is good pinto beans are a you know really good bean I prefer I think I prefer that over any other bean besides the beans that I put together in you know this soup um, so basically what I do now I have them in a bowl right now but if I were you I'd, I'd scoop them hand by hand like this let me just show you or you can lay them out on um, like a, um, um, a platter or something or a um, cutting board whatever some flat or even your counter but my counter is the granite is um, is sometimes you, you can't really see certain things on them especially I cannot so I prefer to use something white but you would uh, sorry scoop like scoop them out hand by um, you, you know one by one out of your hand and then sort them in this manner and you know just look at them very well to see which is not uh, which beans are not going into your pot, which ones have imperfections or whatever. Now here I've already sorted some and you can see some of these, they're broken. They're, you know, they look some kind of way. This is not focusing, but there are rocks, you know, inside of them um, and whatnot. Some of them are, you see, this is, how dark and uh, terrible that looks. Um, some of them are, you see that wrinkling and that dirtiness or whatever um, is on there. This one, poor thing, looks like a, a, a embryo almost right here, yeah. Um, so, you know, these, I'm not gonna make it to your pot. Uh, here's some that are like burned looking or whatever. They're not going to make it to your pot. Let me, sorry, I've got this upside down. But they're not going to make it to your pot. You decide what you don't want in there, but these are the ones I certainly do not want in my pot. And um, let's see well, if we can pick out some from here. These don't look too bad, but you look on both sides because one side might look okay, and then the other side may not. So you always look on both sides. So once you're... Com completed your sorting then you're going to wash them you have to you know wash them and wash them when you're washing them kind of rinse them under with your hands like this under the water rinse them like in your strainer or whatever you know use them like that because they have lots of dirt on on them and you want to get that dirt off of there before you start cooking them now a lot of people uh, sort their um, also soak beans soak beans overnight for faster cooking now for faster cooking um, 
Now, if you're going to put them in a slow cooker, I guess it doesn't really matter if you soak them unless you're trying to get the, uh, what is it, oleosaccharides out of it, which is to keep the gas, you know, so it, so that you don't become gassy. I guess that's a good, you know, they say soak it for that reason. Um, but if you're going to just put them in a slow cooker you might not really need to really be soaking them overnight just make sure that they're sorted and that they're clean and then you can go ahead and put them in your uh, slow cooker you know whenever you do that overnight or whatever so but when I do soak I'll just put them in a bowl such as this and then I you know put I put boiling water in mine normally put boiling water on it and put some kind of top on it and um, maybe in a couple of hours you'll see that it is probably like soaked up uh, the water and whatnot. And what I do sometimes, I'll pour that water off and then put more water on them. But I hardly ever these days put my beans on top of the stove right now unless it's just a small, small portion. And I've been into black beans more lately, um, making those. Uh, and tacos and you know just like having vegetarian tacos and things of that nature um, but yeah so here's like a half bean right here and uh oh it fell away that's something that you want to take a uh, take out or whatever it looks like something that's bad right here let me see if I can catch it yeah here's a, a black bean that you may not want in your pot right there that you know so yeah you know there you know so always you know sort your beans there's going to be probably rocks and then there are some brands that are better than some other brands uh like this brand and i'm not going to show the name but well i'm showing the name but you already know what it is it's really a terrible bag i noticed it in the store but because i um I think it was a limited whatever so um, limited choices so I just picked it up which I'm glad I did because I only had this much at home I thought I had more but I normally pick up my beans if I don't get them from the grocery store like a really good bag from a good grocery store sometimes Dollar Tree has pinto beans and they're only a dollar for that pound and normally they have good beans really good uh, beans and you really you don't have that problem but sometimes even the ones that are supposedly higher priced or supposedly quality they have really horrible uh, you know I mean you, if you're going to buy something you don't want it, this many coming out of your bag or more and that's what came out of this bag now this bag I don't think it's too bad I think this is uh, Walmart's bag and I don't think it's too too bad you know or whatever uh, but you know so that that's what uh, I do and on your slow cooker you know that's about six six or eight hours depending on what you have you know if you have like meat like I'm gonna put my meat in there frozen today and I'm going to put these in there um, unsoaked of course uh, but like I said, a good choice is always frozen uh, beans or peas as well. And that's what I like to do. Uh, just use uh, frozen ones um, and uh, go from there, you know. But um, so, yeah, that is it. I hope this video has been helpful to those of us <laughs> because, you know, we got to, you know, a lot of people, they, they just don't know how to prepare dry beans and they so therefore they don't eat them you know uh red you know all the time or um don't eat them and or serve them to their family because they don't know how to prepare them and um yeah so i just wanted to come on and just give that little titus two tip that little domestic tip you know so i hope this was helpful to us if we have any questions uh, whatsoever please don't hesitate to contact us you know or you know leave a comment uh, I'll do the best I can to answer uh, regarding um, 
beans and whatnot. And I normally don't season my beans until they're like halfway done or something like that. I start adding that flavor to them or whatever, the salt and maybe the pepper and, um, you know, any herbs, um, any herbs or uh, onion and garlic powders. Then uh, closer to the end of it getting ready, that's what I might, or put my fresh things in there, like my fresh garlic, my fresh onion, and my um, uh, maybe uh, sweet mini peppers or whatever. Then you know that. And then I still put another fresh one on, you know, on top of it because I still I really want that freshness in there. Uh, there's some that I want cooked in there for that flavor and then the other ones the flavor and the freshness uh, is you know is what I'd like on there so I always cut up more onion cut up more garlic and cut up more uh, <laughs> sweet mini peppers or whatever at the end uh, for that flavor and freshness as well okay so anyway um and if you, oh, another thing, so as far as dry, uh, dry herbs uh, are concerned, I basically just use like a hyssop thyme uh, in most of my beans, um, like hyssop thyme, um, hold on, let me get it, let me f see if I can find it, um, I'm, because I don't want somebody to, you know, and then, you know, rosemary is good. Uh, Italian seasoning is good. Uh, I, I normally use, um, definitely use a no salt seasoning. I'm all out right now, but I have so many other things that I need to kind of get rid of before I even try to really buy some no salt seasoning right now. Oh, okay, so, so here's the flowering hyssop time. So this is something that I like to put in my beans time um, most of the time <laughs> no pun intended so my place needs to be cleaned out I need to I'm trying to downsize and there are some things that need to be put into jars um, and things like that uh, yes um, I'm just trying to think of some flavors that are good uh, to put into um, into like tarragon tarragon is another one that is really really good to put i think i have some tarragon right here that needs to be put into a package uh this is a dry tarragon that needs to that can also be put into beans um you know as well but there are many things that you can do according to your taste even you know paprika if you like smoked paprika or whatever like that but anyway i'm gonna let you go i have talked long enough but again i hope that this video sorry this video and or information has been helpful to you all right thank you talk to you later bye bye for now